Hello, this is Kess Blue, and welcome back to Wu Tai in Final Fantasy VII. Last time we did stuff and things, and this time we're doing more stuff and things, specifically with Yuffie. Uh, before I go in, I'll just show you my. By the way, did I um? Yeah, that's probably a good, correct call. Uh, here's my layout on Yuffie. I left all on here because I'm lazy, but the rest of the stuff is actually thought out. Um, she has added effect poison on her weapon because most of these are vulnerable against poison. She has, she has double cut from cloud because attacking twice is awesome. She has, she also has HP plus from Vincent because it pretty much doubles her HP, uh, which is still really low. Even with all of her summons off, most of which I took off because she, she needs, she needs HP. Uh, I left on Neo Bahamut with Quadra Magic. We'll, we'll, we'll probably only do that once. Um, and I left on Alexander. Other than that, I also gave her Mime, uh, because I'm about, I'm, well, we'll call it an experiment. We'll see if it works. We will see. In any case, let's get it on. Oh, yes. I, Sacred Gorky, will be your opponent on the first floor. Should have made some tea first. <laughs> okay, then. Power change! And suddenly he's a monster. Fortunately, I have double cut! And... wow. Yeah. Okay, so... Origami is really damn powerful. I could have probably done this earlier in the game, actually. Maybe not too much earlier, because I know that the the very top floor boss is actually legitimately pretty hard. Um... But it is possible that I overestimated the, this just slightly. Eh, whatever. This is more a... Coming now was more a matter of convenience than anything else. Hello! Who's next? Yep, looks like it. S yeah, Yuffie says that. I don't know, I think you're both equally punks, to be honest. Um. Hmm. I mean, she is, she is right. But the only thing you do really good is breathe. I'll forgive you. No. Let's fight. Let us battle! Speed Jane! Double cut. What is with that insane crit damage? I mean, yeah, if I keep doing that, it's not gonna matter. Uh, I'll actually be disappointed. I mean, other prep, prep aside, even if it's overkill, it's, I think it's fairly wise. But I, I'll be a little bit disappointed if I don't get a chance to use my mime thing. And it's not happening if it keeps ending like this. Also, uh, perhaps needless to say, you cannot steal from any of these encounters. Otherwise I would have given Ste Yuffie some stealing powers. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have a question for you. Why do all of the Japanese-themed people in the Japanese-themed town, in the f freaking temple, have Russian names? That's, that's really weird. Hmm. Something like that. Actually, I'm immune to fire, so... I'd like to see you try. 
Honestly, just the Tetra Elemental alone sh should make all- should probably make a lot of these a lot easier. Because I know the top floor one that I actually think is difficult. I know that guy uses a lot of element attacks. He actually has Shrine, which is why you should wait to battle him. Um, you should wait until you have all of your enemy skills before you do this, specifically because of Shrine. Uh, having said that, I've tried on three enemy skills, and I don't need the fourth one, so I haven't bothered with it. Otherwise, Yuffie would have that enemy skill on instead of this one. Uh, that said, let's kill you. No crazy crits this time. Also, you inflicted stop, which is kind of dangerous. But not that bad. Ice ring. I'm pretty sure that is pretty worthless for me, actually. Hmm. Interesting. So this is floor three. I wonder, do these have different kanji on each floor? Uh, that's like that, that's like that. Uh, yeah, it is different. Well, I think the one on the floor is the same, but the one on the wall it is different. I can't read it, unfortunately. <laughs> the number, the amount of kanji I know is like... <laughs> I'll be generous to myself and say a couple dozen. <laughs> Realistically, probably fewer. Oh, hey. No hidden option. Okay, then. Weapon change! They do get stronger as you go further up, I know. But even so, with the possible exception of the one on the top, the guy on the first floor should be representative of the strength of the guys on all of the floors. I, again, except for maybe the very top. Top floor guy is... He's a full-on boss. And hopefully he'll just keep hitting me with fire and light fire and light and lightning attacks, which I know he can he sometimes does. Because I have Tetra Element and I absorb that shit. Hopefully. We'll see. I just wish I could remember if he used water attacks, because I don't absorb those. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You have defeated the four of our best! But now you'll have to face him! Definitely should have made tea first, my throat's starting to get sore. Hmm. Well, this is probably the last thing I'm going to record tonight, then. Oh, well. I am sort of- I am glad now that I did do this in a separate episode, because I feel like either I would have gone two shortish episodes, or I would have gone one insanely long one. Well, not insanely long. I've done the insanely long one. It wouldn't have been insanely long, but it would have definitely been long. Hello! Yep, it's Yuffie's father. Goto! Hmm. It's not the same name as the, as the mime guy from Final Fantasy V and VI. Some, hmm. Interesting. I'll answer you by having you test your skills against mine. Hold nothing back. Come as if you're trying to kill me! If you don't... I will have to kill you instead. Some dad. Omni Chain. So yeah, he he's. I'm honestly his name should probably be Asura, but whatever. Um. I am not immune to that, but it did give me my limit break. So now we'll get. A, so now. Well, now we'll use that. Uh... Beast Sword! 
Okay, I'm not sure what that was. Not Earth based, though. Now for the real magic. I really hope this works. Mime! Mini! Oh, you son of- you- you freaking- YES! IT WORKED! I can mimic my own limit break! But I did get shrunk, so, you know, it, that's not gonna work so well now. Um, I need to unshrink myself. I didn't give- I didn't think to give myself mini, but I think I have a, uh, let's- I only have one of these. Oi. Please don't use mini on me again. I'm gonna need to buy more of those. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, since you broke my since you broke my limit break chain, I think I will times four Neo Bahamut you. Th this is probably gonna kill you. Um, and if not, I can just mimic it again. Mimic is free is easily easily the most powerful materia in the game. If only because it lets you copy every single other broken materia combination in the game. Cause I need to put my controller in now, because he's gonna be hit by four Neo Bahamas for the price of one. Oh. Honestly, that's not that much, but there's still going to be four of them, so I'm fairly confident it will kill you. Does Neo Bahamut not break defense? Because I feel like that should be higher. Hmm. Well, whatever. I gotta show I gotta show off this OP stu this OP stupidness. So I'm basically happy. Hmm. You know though. I don't remember if it goes through all four of them, or if it'll stop once he's dead. Huh. Didn't, I did not really consider this. Also, it occurs to me, he's on his head that is strong against magic, because each of his heads has different strengths and weaknesses, right? One of them is magic-based, one of them is physical-based. I don't remember what the third one does, I think it heals him or something. Um... So, in that case, Neo Bahamut must not, must not in fact ignore his magic defense, otherwise it would be doing more damage. Because I know Bahamut ignores his ma ignores magic defense, and Bahamut would be doing more damage. And anyway, I guess in fairness, I did also take off most of my, uh, oh, that was only three, so I guess it answers that question. Was well, saying right. In fairness, I did take off most of my summon materials, so you have his magic is lower than it otherwise might be. And we got all creation and a ton of money. Wow, that is going to help a lot for the chocobo stuff. That's like one whole green. <laughs> we did it! Yay! So, you've also improved. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure if this means they have a good relationship or if this constitutes some form of abuse, to be honest. I I'd like to think it was the first one. I'd like to think Yuffie has a good relationship with the father. Uh, but... I can I cannot completely convince myself that that's the case. <laughs> or at least it's hard to do so. <laughs> and we get Leviathan! Yay! I mean, Yuffie just did that, so... 
Even if she's not taking over the pagoda, she certainly just conquered it. Hmm. Interesting question. I mean, is that necessarily a bad thing? Um... Hmm. Well, uh, hmm. Yeah, I- honestly, I, I have nothing to- I don't really have anything further to add to this. Um... It's strength for beating enemies. Or is there something to show off? Might begets might. Hmm. Your logic doesn't... Your logic is poor. Boy. Hmm. Okay, I think I see what he's saying, actually. Poorly phrased as it was, I blame that on the tra- that is most likely the fault of his translation. Uh, no, what he was trying to say, it took me a few minutes there to, this isn't even the first time I've seen this, and I didn't even hit, it, it, I didn't even get it right away, so, I feel it is fair to explain it. No, he's saying that showing off that he is strong would, um, probably result in Shinra showing a, s more shows of strength themselves. Because Shinra... Actually, I don't really understand why Shinra and went to war with Wutai, but it totally happened. Um... And they're totally the sort of people who would look at some... Who would look at the... Uh, well, someone like him, and go, Oh, well, you're this strong, so we're gonna be that much worse. Especially Rufus, actually. I mean, it, his father may not necessarily have necessarily done that sort of thing. He's the sort of person who would be content in his own superiority. Uh, at least until it was challenged. In which case he kills a eighth of the most po of the population of the most populous city in on the planet and fails to kill the people he was trying to kill in doing so. Uh, yeah. That guy. <sighs> anyway. Anyway. On that note... Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, these two. Like, like daughter, like father, I suppose. Fight, go, fight till the end, but come back with the materia! Yeah, they definitely have a good relationship. Um, okay then. These guys. Boy. Okay, well, we're done here. So... What's next? Um, right! So, now that we're done in Wutai... Oh, actually no, one thing, I need to show off all creation. It is... No, where, where is it? Um... It is Yuffie's... It's Yuffie's, uh, final limit. Woohoo! Okay. On that note, I think we're done now. Uh, join me next time when we go into space. Because, you know, that'll be fun. Uh, or at least we go to the rocket that's going into space. Yeah, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. And have a great day. Bye! <laughs>